In a way, this is our first conclus type of a word problem. Because we have two numbers, one of them is 10 larger than the other, and we have to find the smallest value of the product. Let's say A and V, and one of them is 10 greater than the other. Then if you label those two numbers with A and B, then B can be written as A plus 10. Then B is 10 greater than A, right? We have to find the smallest value or minimal value of AB. Well, we just have an expression for B, so A, A can remain A, but then B can be rewritten as A plus 10, and what we have is something very useful for a minimum value, right? For a minimum value, we should have a quadratic expression, and that is exactly what we have. So we have A squared plus 10A, and we're going to complete the square not to find the zeros, not to factor, that was already done, but to find the lowest value for that, we need to complete the square to bring stuff to the standard form. So half of the linear coefficient is 5, which means a plus 5 squared is our complete square, which means we smuggle in 25. The first three gets absorbed into the complete square. Think of it as the fifth number is 0, because that's what's happening here, the third number was 0. This is the standard form. This form tells us the lowest value. The lowest value of a square is possibly zero. Then the lowest value of the whole thing is negative 25. Is that possible? Could this get be zero? Basically, you're mentally solving this q little equation. To square to zero, you have to start with zero. You have to square zero. For that, a plus 5 has to be zero, which means a has to be negative 5. So the lowest value is negative 25 when a is negative 5. Sometimes you are asked both, sometimes just the lowest value. But it's good to get both of them. In this, in this particular case, our answer is negative 25. The problem is over. But I want to keep going a little bit because I want to show you a way to somewhat check this. So if A is negative 5, B is 10 greater than A. So if we add 10 to this, then we get B is plus 5. And so AB is negative 25. So AB equals negative 25 when A is negative 5 seems to confirm this situation. But I would, I would try one more thing. This connection is true for so many pairs of numbers. If this is in, indeed uh, the smallest, we should just try randomly one or two uh, and see if, if they are greater. Every other A and B, this should be greater than negative 25. So let's say A is 3. If A is 3, then B is 10 greater than that, B is 13, so the product is 39. That is clearly bigger than negative 25. We, we sort of have this feeling that we have a negative value for the product, so the lowest, lowest value is going to be negative. So that means one of them should be positive, the other one negative. Well, let's, say, let's try A equals negative 3. If A is negative 3, then B is plus 7. And then we get AB is negative 21. That is greater, close, but greater than negative 25. So this is more, this is not a proof, that's, but sort of an encouraging sign, um, giving us a likelihood of we're correct, that not only negative 25 is the volume when A is negative 5, but that it, it is indeed the smallest volume. Thank you for watching.